Shalom mga kapatid. In the early days of computers, they used to say, garbage in, garbage out. Ano po ang meaning nito? Simple lang po. Kung ano daw ang information na ipinasok mo sa computer, yun lang din ang pwedeng maiprocess ng computer. Sa madaling salita, kung ano ang input, yun din ang output. And if ever we wanted a different result, we need to put in different information. Malinaw po ba? Kapag usapang computers, most people have no trouble grasping that concept. Pero, paano kung sabihin ko sa iyo na ganun din ang concept pagdating sa ating isip? Nauunawaan mo ba iyon? Kapatid, ano na nga ang tawag sa ating panahon ngayon? The information age, also called computer age, the digital age, or the social media age. Sa panahon na ito, kaliwat kanan ang mga input sa utak natin. Kahit saan ka pumihit, merong input. So many things demand our attention and beg for our focus. Kaya nga kapag hindi ka naging maingat kapatid, marami sa mga input na yan ay hindi nakakabuti sa atin. Sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, Although everything was lawful for him, not everything was helpful. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12 Hindi lahat ng pwede pakinabang. Hindi lahat ng maganda e eh, mabuti. Hindi lahat ng katwiran e eh, tama. Every day, there's a battle in our minds. Dapat alam mo yan. Kung saan ka nakafocus, iyan ang magkaka-influence sa iyo. Iyan ang magwawagi sa isip mo. Iyan ang magkakaroon ng kontrol sa buhay mo. Kaya nga, where you focus your attention is crucial. Gusto mo ba na maging wagi sa buhay? Well, you got to defeat the enemy. How? Don't give the enemy space to dump garbage in your mind. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. Instead, ang sabi po sa Psalm chapter 1 verse 2 to 3, But his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord, and on his law, ano yung law? The precepts, the instructions, the teachings of God. Sabi doon, he habitually meditates, meaning he ponders and studies by day and by night. And he shall be like a tree firmly planted. Ibig sabihin, nakatanim at naalagaan by the streams of water, ready to bring forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf also shall not fade or wither. And everything he does shall prosper or it will come to maturity. The more you meditate on God's Word, the stronger you'll become and the more easily you'll win the victories. Kapatid, meditate on God's Word. Let me emphasize on the word. Meditate. Eto kapatid, listen. Reality check lang po ulit. Marami pong Christians hindi naunawaan ang pagkakaiba ng meditating on the Bible and reading the Bible. Akala po ng iba, kapag nagbasa ng Bible, okay na yun. Alam na nila. Pero ang totoo, marami ang nagbabasa ng Bible tapos hindi naman naintindihan ang ganap na mensahe o kahulugan nito. At kung minsan pa, yung nagbabasa na lang ang nagpapasya kung ano ang kahulugan ng Diyos sa kanyang mga salita. Kapatid, iba po talaga ang read sa meditate. Kaya nga po, those who meditate on God's Word are those who take time. Think and think seriously and pray about what they are reading. They may not put it in these words, but they are saying, God, speak to me. Teach me. As I ponder your word, reveal its depth to me. Ano nga po ba ang sabi ng psalmist? Sinimulan niya sa unang verse ng Book of Psalm na 
Blessed is the man. Tapos, sa verses 2 and 3, sinabi niya kung ano ang ginagawa ng blessed man at ano ang epekto nito sa kanya. Remember, input, output. Ang sabi doon ng psalmist, a man is blessed when he delights in the Lord and then meditates on God's word day and night. Meaning, his mind is filled and covered with good stuff, not garbage. It is the word of God, the truth of God. And then, what's the output? He is like a productive tree, and everything he does shall prosper. Ayan kapatid, clear results, di po ba? As you ponder who God is and what he's saying to you, you will grow. But if not, big chances are. Sabi nga natin, there's information garbage everywhere. So if that will grab your focus, it's not growth for you, kapatid. Rather, it's decay. It's really that simple. Whatever you focus on, you become. If you read about and allow your mind to focus on God's love and power, that's what operates in you. The Apostle Paul says it beautifully in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence, and is honorable and seemly, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious, if there is any virtue and excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, Think on and weigh and take account of these things. Or meaning, fix your minds on them. Amen po? It's sad, but most Christians don't put much effort into their study of the Word. They go to hear others teach and preach, and they may listen to sermon videos or tapes, and read the Bible occasionally, but they're not dedicated to making God's Word a major part of their lives. Be careful what you think about. The more you think about good things, the better your life will seem. The more you think about Jesus Christ and the principles He taught, the more you become like Jesus and the stronger you will grow. And as you grow, you win the battle for your mind. Amen, Puba.